In this video, I'm going to show you how to change colors in amigurumi. So let's pretend that this stitch marker represents the first stitch of the previous round, which means you have one stitch left in this round, this one, and that the pattern says that you need to switch to yellow yarn in the upcoming round. So what we'll do is a normal single crochet, as you normally would, so you insert the hook under the stitch, pull the yarn through, and then now instead of yarning over and pulling that yarn through again, take the new color yarn, put it on your hook where the tail is in front of the hook, and the working yarn is uh, in the back, where I guess the tail is on the bottom and the working yarn is on the top of the hook. Pull that through. At this point, if you're like me, sometimes this uh, loop from the old yarn is a little bit big, so I pull on that a little bit so it's a little tighter. Now you get back into position, take the stitch marker out, and we're going to do a slip stitch instead of a single crochet stitch for the very first stitch, but you'll treat it as though it is the first single crochet stitch in this round. So turn over and pull it through both loops. And by doing this instead of a single crochet stitch, the transition between colors will be a little bit smoother. So when you are doing the rest of the single crochets in this round, you want to crochet over both yarn tails of both the old yarn and the new yarn so that it stays secure. So for example, you're going to do a single crochet stitch, insert the hook, yarn over, pull it through, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull it through both loops. And before we get too far, I'm going to put this stitch marker back in to mark the first stitch of this new round. Get back into place. And uh, I happen to have already cut this old yarn already, but normally I like to wait to cut it until I've crocheted basically a full round where I have secured the yarn tail by crocheting over it because then I just feel more secure like the yarn won't accidentally come off. And notice the other thing I'm doing, if you don't want the yarn uh, to show through the stitches, you want to position these yarn tails a bit towards the inside of your amigurumi piece where no one will be looking anyway. So I'm just going to quickly complete this round. So you can see what we do when we get back to the very first stitch of the round. Okay, so we are now at the last stitch of this round in a new color. I'm going to single crochet like I normally would, and yet again also going to single crochet in the first stitch of this round as I would normally would as well. Since I have told you before that that first stitch is being treated as though it were a single crochet in that round. And so let me just crochet a few more stitches so you can see how the color change looks like in the end. Alright, so there you have it.